Hey you guys, I told you that I was going to record videos every single day <clears throat> up until the launch party. And actually because I found something that really works for me, I think I'm going to record all the time pre-recorded videos and do live sometimes, okay? Um, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, da 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 everything that you're supposed to say. So, today's video... <laughs> this piggybacks off of yesterday's video on should I go to school and in that video I asked that people really I had a message right the message was that you guys got to be ready to do the work and yet once again I still get messages from people reaching out to me saying things such as I really want to do this <laughs> Can you tell me what schools are available in my area? And tell me their whole life story. I'm going to be honest with you. It makes me feel some sort of way because what you're telling me is that you know what needs to be done, but you don't want to do it. You want me to do it and you want me to tell you. And that's exactly what my message was in the previous video that I just made a couple of hours ago asking people not to do that. If you're not calling me with some solutions and, and, and you know, especially because people want, they don't want to sign up for consultation. They want me to just, they want to tell me their whole life story and they want me to just sit down and do research for them. This person was asking me to do research. They wanted me to tell them what schools were good in their state. And it's just like, I don't know what schools are good in your state. I've never been there. Now you want me to do the legwork for you? That is not what I'm here to do, you guys. Nobody's going to do that for you unless you're willing to pay them a whole bunch of money. And so people are still doing that. I just don't get it. You cannot want to be an entrepreneur if you are not willing to do little, little bitty things like that. That's nothing. You don't even want to spend time to find the school that you should be going to. How would I know what all the schools are like in your state? Things like that is like, you're not serious about doing this because that's something that you should already be researching. That's something, by you asking me that question, that's telling me that you already know that that's something that needs to be done. So why are you asking me to do it? For some people, I might not be your cup of tea because I'm very straightforward, but I don't have time to do stuff like that. That's something that if you know it needs to be done, you should already be doing it. And... I'm not, even in a consultation, I'm not going to spend time doing that. Now you need to hire me as a consultant and that's a real like on contract paper consultant because now you're asking me to, you're asking me for billable hours. Okay. So things like that, you should have already done the research. You already know that needs to be done and that's something that you have to do if you want to do it. I'm here to help you strategize on your specific particular situation I'm gonna ask a lot of different questions to figure out what works best for you to keep your life flowing as it should be but if you're not gonna sit and take time to do the minor details of the legwork of things such as finding a school in your area then you are being lazy so I might lose subscribers as I go really into this because I really feel some sort of way when people tell me how much, and, and I just said this in the very last video, that people keep saying how much they love my videos and they really want to do this, but then they start asking me to do things that they should be doing because they know it needs to be done. But you're asking me to give it to you and to do it for you. And it's like, if you are not going to take those steps, consultation is more about strategy and helping you figure out and, and, and climb through the nuances of things. I'm not going to do that simple legwork for you. You're not ready to be an entrepreneur because entrepreneurs are problem solvers. And I'm here to teach you how to get your mind right, how to wrap your mind around things to be a great problem solver because that's all an entrepreneur is. Beyonce, Cardi B, all these big people, yes, even Cardi B, Cardi B have found out how to get around things. Even Cardi B, let's take her for example. Cardi B, people could say whatever they want to say about her. She's ghetto, she's ratchet, she's this, she's that. Cardi B was big before Love and Hip Hop. Okay, she already had a following. And I keep going back to her because she's the underdog that is the 
major dog now because she understands the human psychology behind people. And she understood that she was good at what she did, but there were many people who were good at what they did as well. And so she just tapped into being herself, tapped into saying things that other people wouldn't say, and she used that to her advantage. Meaning that she was a problem solver. She saw an underserved community, and she tapped into that to make her way up to fame. A lot of people will say that love and hip hop made her. I will tell you from personal experience and working with some of the, knowing some of the people on the love and hip hop series personally, that most of them don't want to do it. They do it because it's free advertisement. And so Cardi B already had a platform and she was convinced to do it along with a few other people that I personally know to do the show because it's free advertisement because an actual commercial for 30 seconds to run about 12 weeks costs about a quarter million dollars. And so if you can go do this show and play along with the script for so many weeks, you get all their free advertisement as long as you work into the script correctly. I digress. When people call or reach out to me and they start asking me to do things that they should have done themselves because they're pointing it out and they already know it needs to be done, it shows me that you're not serious. Because a lot of these little bitty steps you can be taking yourself. And when you reach out to me, I want you to have your mind ready to say, hey, I've done this, I've done this, I've done this, and I've done that. And this is the situation. What avenue do you think is best to take in your professional experience? That's what I'm looking for. I'm not going to sit down and go research schools for you in your state. I'm not going to do things like that, okay? I'm not. I don't have time. That's what you should be doing. And if you say you want to work and do this full time, you got to be ready to at least do that. That's nothing. That's really nothing. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm kind of getting annoyed with so many people reaching out. <sighs> I am. I'm just going to be real. I can't do anything but be real. You know, I'm kind of getting annoyed with people reaching out, starting out talking about how much they want this, but they haven't done things that they could do. You're not going to be ready for the things I'm going to ask you to do if you can't do those things. That's nothing. That's something you can sit up on your phone on the couch and do. Go set up appointments and, and go visit these schools. I can't do that for you. You have to do it. I can't tell you which one's the best because it's all about how you feel about it. How did they make you feel? Does the price work for you and your situation? You get what I'm saying? So I get so many weird questions and I'm like... You can't say you want to be an entrepreneur. This is all really about being an entrepreneur. It just happens to be males. Okay? But it's all about really being an entrepreneur. So, um, yeah. So here we go. Let me go into this. I'm going to tell you guys this. Free little tidbit of information here. Um, let me let me digress. I'm going to take a quick break because I just went into a little rant there. Because I'm, I can't believe I'm getting these messages after I just put that, that video up. You want me to tell you what schools are the best schools in your state. It's like, well, Tanisha, you might be going a little bit too deep with that. How would I know? I can't tell you. Because what I think is the best for me may not be the best for you. It may be the, what I think is the best might be the most expensive. And it probably is the best because I'm looking at it from a, a money standpoint. Like, it's certain things. It's like, have you done any work before you came to me? Have you done any work? Have you put in any effort? Because I'm not going to do all the work for you. I'm more of a consult. I'm a consultant. And so that means that I'm a guide, but you have to do it. <laughs> I want to help people who are going to help themselves. I'm not going to be of much help to people who just have a hope and a prayer in their head. I'm going to be a, a guide to people who really want to help themselves. Man, I can't say that enough. Anyway. So, it's really slow right now in the industry across the board for any entrepreneur. The month of September, August, September, October can be weird because people are adjusting their finances and taking a look at their finances. I've said this before. And so I've had many different people in different industries, the food industry, the dental industry, the nail industry and hair industry all come to me saying how slow it is. So it's not just me. I know this and I'm used to it. Just hate it. <laughs> but anyway. I had a friend that came to me today and um, I was talking to her and she said that someone she was you know we were both talking about how slow it is 
and she said that someone presented her with an opportunity to open her business within their business and she was like oh my god I now have to write a business plan I gotta do this I gotta do that I gotta do this I gotta do that so the point of this video is just because the opportunity I'm not even gonna say opportunity just because something presents itself to you don't be so fast to jump on it so I listened to her talk and I said I'm just gonna tell you something I, I don't want you to be offended but I just got to keep it real with you as an outsider just because that person offered to get you a space inside of their space doesn't mean that that's the best situation for you and I told her she's probably watching this video I said, I'm going to use this, this great example of what I'm t speaking with you about today. I'm going to use this in my next video because this applies to the nail industry as well. In the nail industry, people will always find out that you're a nail tech and they're going to be like, oh, I need a nail tech in my salon. Oh, I need a nail tech in my salon. Everybody always needs a nail tech in their salon because they don't have a nail tech. It doesn't mean necessarily that you should jump on it. And so that takes me to today's lesson. Today's lesson is doing a SWOT analysis. And what I think I'm gonna do right here is put up this little chart about a SWOT analysis. A SWOT analysis is something that helps you to assess if something is something that, if it's something that you want to move forward on, okay? It's used in the corporate professional world it's something that we do before we in, engage in something before we um, invest dollars and time into it and you just don't jump on everything let me tell you something if you drink from every cup that's handed to you because you're thirsty you could poison yourself let me repeat that if you drink from every cup that's handed to you because you are thirsty you could poison yourself a prime case would be what's happening in the Dominican Republic right now. People are dying because they're drinking bootleg liquor. Because everybody wants to drink alcohol. Everyone wants to be intoxicated. Everyone wants to feel that good feeling of being on vacation. The best feeling is to be super, you know, tipsy or whatever. So you can have your best life. Well, if you do that in the business and you go and you take every so-called opportunity that's handed your way, you could literally poison yourself and become distraught and unmotivated in what it is you want to do. So let's go back to the SWOT analysis. The SWOT analysis is just that, and it helps you to assess whether or not to move forward or to abort mission. So the SWOT stands for your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. Again, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It's an old school method of deciding whether or not to move forward with the project or something that has been presented to you. We should be applying this when deciding whether or not to go to a new location or to make any moves in terms of our career as a nail technician. <sighs> okay, so I got calls in, so of course that kind of threw things off. So ignore my outfit it's like a summer outfit anyway um so as a nail technician we should we should you don't have to write it down every time but as time goes on you'll sit and learn how to mentally do a SWOT analysis of the opportunity so I digress I go back to my friend she's in the food industry and because someone that she knows has a very successful business she was talking to me and like I said I let her finish everything she had to say and I told her, I said, you know, just because this business is successful doesn't mean that it's a good fit for you and that you'll be successful and that you'll make a lot of money. I'm not trying to be a hater or be negative, but you should still do your research before jumping on it because she was just all like, oh my God, I need you to help me. I need you to write a business plan for him. I need to do this. I mean, I'm like, mm, actually, just because he said that doesn't mean it's a good fit for you. You should actually ask him why he thinks that you would be such a great fit and he should be showing you some numbers so you can figure out if you need to move forward, you know, because you need to plant that information into your SWOT analysis, you know, and I start explaining that to her and she's like, that's why I just love talking to you. I'm like, no, this is what we have to do as business women, you know, as a person who's an entrepreneur. So I say that to say with um, nail techs, same thing goes just because you find a salon that says we want you, you need to understand that 
everybody's going to say they need a nail tech if they don't have a nail tech. Okay? Everyone's going to say that. If they don't have a nail tech and it's a salon, they're going to always say they need one. Always. Always, always, always. They'll make room for you. They're going to always say that. Trust me. It's the little piece of the pie that's sometimes not there. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's something that you're going to go in and make enough money to do what you need to do to make you happy. And so that's why you need to do the SWOT analysis. And that's why I go into your questioning that I've mentioned in many other videos that you need to do. You need to ask the proper questions. You need to vet the place, meaning that you need to do your due diligence to make sure that this place is providing enough for you to make a great income off of, you know? So you need to do your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. You need to know what questions to ask. This is why a lot of nail techs are salon hoppers, because no one does their due diligence to find out if a place is a good fit for them, and if it's something that's really something that can bring in money for them on the level that they're happy with. I heard a new nail tech said she was making $500 a week. I'm sure she's going to watch this video, and she's not happy with that. I personally think for a new nail tech who has no clientele going into a place that they're feeding you $500 a week, you should be happy with that because that was money that was just spoon fed to you. But for the next person, it's not. And so now that's something you need to sit back and strategize on. You need to look at your strengths and your opportunities and figure out what type of place is going to provide you what you need and then figure out what you have to offer under your strengths and your opportunities and try to sell that to them. That's why the SWOT analysis is so powerful because it helps you to look at things that depending on what it is, what your end goal is, you need to use that chart to figure out what things and what strategy you need to take to get where you wanna be. And so that's why I say when people reach out to me and they're saying things like find me a school, if you can't find yourself a school or even take time out to go call a school and schedule a visit, honey, you're definitely not ready for what I got you to do next because I'm going to make you go deep because I'm going to make your journey way less stressful than it was for me. And I'm not going to just hey, hold your hand. Like you're not going to go through what I went through, but I'm saying like, if you can't do the little things, you're really not ready for what I've learned thus far. Cause I, I can condense it for you, but I'm not going to do every step for you. Okay. Anyway, I'm going back to my friend. I said, you know, that man may have a two six. She said, no, he has. Then she went on to say, he, well, no, well, no, well, no, because he has two successful businesses. Like that was going to change what I was going to say. I'm like, okay, those are two successful businesses that he has, but that doesn't mean that your food business is going to fit in there. I said, I'm not trying to say you shouldn't do it. What I'm saying is that don't feel like because he said, I think that I want to partner with you, that you should just drop everything and start writing a business plan for him. He needs to show you and tell you why he think it would be. And, and run some numbers and do some research before you jump into things. That's why I say don't jump into everything. If you drink from every cup that's handed to you because you're thirsty, you can potentially be drowning or poisoning yourself. I said, honey, because look, you're already working from home. You don't have that overhead. And you do things on your time, your terms. If you were to move into this person's space, they would expect you to have business hours. They expect they're going to want their money every month. And they're going to expect you to have regular hours and all of that. And if you're not there and you have a doctor's appointment or whatever is going on, you're going to have to have someone. Now you got to pay someone to come in and open for those hours. If you decide to go on vacation, now you got to pay someone to come in and still be open because you've opened a physical location in this person's location. And so things change. And so you have to sit and write all of that out before just jumping on it. Just because somebody who has what seems to be a successful business is open, they say they want to partner and invest in you. They haven't said and thought about it that deep. They're just thinking about another way to make money for themselves. Think about that. But they haven't thought about it on the level that you need to think about it. So it's up to you to do your due diligence and your work. And so I will say again in the second video for the second day in the row, when you reach out to me, whatever work you can do on your end, please make sure that you have done it and come back to me with information so we can work on solutions because I'm not gonna do the legwork for you. I'm a consultant. Consultants help you put, to, put the information together. And I mean, like, I'm not gonna say that because sometimes consultants will go and do the deep dive for you. That's, that's on a corporate level. But 
You're only paying for 30 minutes to an hour. You need to already have a lot of this stuff already laid out. So unless you want to pay me for like 40 or 60 hours a month worth of work, you need to have a lot of this stuff already laid out and I can tell you how to put it together is what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this out, but make sure that you take a look at the SWOT analysis. Make sure that you um, really sit and think about this. You know, and a lot of people may tell you, a few people you may watch may say, she's going too deep with it. It's not, guess what? I'm trying to tell you that the people who have been veterans in this industry, just like me, they've gone through all the things I've gone through. And my point and my channel is all about streamlining that process for you. Unless you want to spend 10, 15, 20 years figuring it out, I figured it out and I'm trying to tell you on the business end how to make your career successful immediately and, and to bypass a lot of the heartache, pain, and dollars spent. But you got to do your part. Okay, you guys. I hope you learned something. Put your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to know when I'm going live or when I post a new video. And also, don't forget that the launch party for Chicago Beauty, it, we're going to redo that. We're going to go ahead and redo that this Sunday because I was definitely not satisfied. People said they couldn't hear. YouTube was so scrambled, it just would not let us be great. So we're going to redo it this Sunday. There's going to be another giveaway or two, and I think I even have a poet coming in. So, yeah, let's let's tune in again this Sunday evening around 5 or 6 o'clock. I'll keep you guys tuned. Till the next video. Bye.